Welcome back to my channel everyone. We are here with a speed clean today. It has been a little while. I actually filmed this when I was recovering from the illness I had recently. If you guys are here regularly, you will know what I'm on about. And the house was just getting in such a state. Literally, I was piling everything up in the kitchen. It was just a hot mess. Not even a hot mess, it was just a absolute mess. So I'm starting in the kitchen and I'm clearing all of the worktops. Now why on earth was there dog toys on the side, post, I don't even know what was going on to be honest with you, but clearing all the sides because I just can't stand it. Now here is a bit of real life for you. This is what it looks like if you cook and you don't clean your gas hob in about two weeks. So I'm going in with the Pink Stuff Miracle Cleaner. This is my favorite, holy grail, I love it so much. I'm spraying it all over and I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes to work its magic and it just really helps to soak away all of them bits, all them bits that's stuck and hard to move and we hate them. And then I'm gonna go in and scrub away them nasty bits and pieces that need to go right in the bin. About 10 million years later, once we're finally done, I'm going in with a microfiber cloth and I'm just wiping down the sides, then running that baby under the sink, then coming back, wiping it again, running it again, and just keep repeating the process until this is all clear. It did take a while, it's quite a tedious task. Anyone that has a gas hob will relate. Like, why do we have them? I actually despise this, I hate it so much. It's the hardest thing in my life to keep clean. It really is a bane, it really is. Okay, so now I'm going in with a multi-action cleaner. This one is fresh apple. Mm, it smells so good, it smells like fresh apples. So I'm spraying down all of the worktops. Now there are a hell of a lot of worktops in this kitchen. So again, this is quite a tedious task, but yeah, it needs to be done. So when I spray that, I actually leave it to sit for about five minutes. I have heard, apparently anyway, if you leave it to sit, it helps to kill the bacteria. Whereas if you wipe it instantly, apparently it does not. I don't know how true that fact is, so don't, don't take it as gospel, but you know, apparently that's true. This area here, oh, I hate it. All the crumbs, honestly, that toaster just makes life so difficult. That annoying toaster that I love so much because I use it every single day. Okay, so we're coming back on over to the hub. So the actual metal bits, I don't know what they're called, but I actually pop them through the dishwasher and it works really well. So just a little tip for you guys. I'm scrubbing this side because I had food stuck to the worktops and I actually used the pink stuff and that really did help to dislodge it along with a little scrubby thing. So yeah, just another tip for you. The pink stuff is really good and it's not actually bad at all, but I just feel like it's a lot more hardcore. And then I'm using it on all of the cabinets. So these babies needed a clean. They had not been cleaned in a while and if you have these shaker style kitchens you will know they get so much dust like it's a joke so I'm getting rid of all that dust and I'm also cleaning the handles so that they're nice and fresh Guys, let me tell you, this was such an awful thing, right? I snapped about three nails doing this. Three or four of my acrylics pip pipped, no, <laughs> they popped off. It was a nightmare. My hands were actually in agony at the end of this workout. That is what I like to call it. It's not bloody clean, it's a workout because I sweat after doing this. So let me tell you that, it is no joke. <laughs> Now 
Now I'm back loading and unloading that dishwasher. That's something I seem to do every single day, multiple times. But if I didn't have this dishwasher, I would be not in a good way because it really does save the day. It saves me so much time. So thank you, dishwasher. You're my bestie. But yeah, I'm just unloading and loading the dishwasher just because it needs to happen. Right, so now we're in the wardrobe room. So this is the current state of it. A lot of washing that needs putting away, it's such a mess. So yeah, I'm literally just starting by hanging all the washing away and then I'm also folding the towels because they actually live in the airing cupboard, which is indeed in this room. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do all right, so quick outfit change. No, this was actually the next day. I was so tired yesterday, I had to start again so now I'm just going in with a hoover I'm actually back in using a really heavy duty Dyson hoover because my two handheld ones were actually flat so yeah just hoovering all of the upstairs now it's such a mess and it just really needed doing at this point I think I've been isolating for two weeks alone so yeah the whole house needed a clean this was my filming room what a state I know washing everywhere stuff all on the sides it just looked awful so I'm starting by emptying the bin and then I'm just going to clear the sides on my dressing table and try and get it somewhat presentable Oh my god, if you didn't think the other rooms were bad, look how bad the lounge looked, guys. Again, this is the state of it after about two weeks of not tidying. Loads of stuff on the sides, just an absolute mess. I basically lived with the curtain shut that whole time too, was just laying on the sofa relaxing. So I'm starting off by folding away these throws. I did actually wash them afterwards because they just, they needed a freshen up, let me tell you that. But yeah, started off by folding them, just clearing away as much as I could because I can't, I cannot stand mess on the sides. Then I'm plumping up the sofa now my dog makes this a very hard task but it needed to happen if you have a scatterback you will understand the frustration with this honestly it takes so long and literally it's a workout and then they're flat again by the time the next day comes around so I don't recommend a scatterback if you don't have one already but anyway enough mining about my sofa I fall asleep on this all the time and it is actually so incredibly comfortable so I do get asked about this quite a lot and it's from DFS and it's called the lorry sofa and this is one this is one, no, this is the one in the colour silver. Now it's time to clear up after my child, aka my little French bulldog Lola, because she loves to leave all of her toys everywhere. Look at this guys, my dog rips apart every single toy I get her, and there's just so much fluff everywhere because she just loves to rip out the filling, it's just literally a daily occurrence, and then I'm just gonna run the hoover around the whole room. Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all, I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I 
is all gone. The next parts are pretty damn self-explanatory. I'm just running the hoover around the dining room, then I'm gonna be running it up the stairs as well. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to leave In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Whilst you're watching me hoover, I thought I'd talk about my carpet because I do get asked about it quite a lot. So I had someone in called AJ Clark Flooring and I think it's Carpets and Flooring Limited. If you search AJ Clark on Instagram, he'll come up. And I'm not entirely sure of the color, but if you mention my carpet, he'll let you know what it is. And yeah, he's really, really great. He fitted all the carpet in my house and he's actually really big now. He does so many people, Stacey Solomon, loads of people. So if you're interested, hit him up and tell him I sent him your way. And no, this is not a sponsor. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. Okay, so we're back downstairs now, and first off, I'm gonna run the hoover around the tiles. So this area is such like a high traction area in the house. It's constantly getting mud on it from dog walks and dust and all that. So I like to run a hoover around first off just to pick up any excess bits. And then I'm also gonna go in the kitchen and do the same. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Right, so now the hoovering's all done, I'm now gonna use a spray mop. So this one I actually ordered on Amazon. It was about 10 pounds, really, really inexpensive. It's just one of them ones where the pad at the bottom can be chucked in the washing machine. Um, so yeah, it just collects all the dirt, you chuck it in the washing machine, and then you just mix a solution with warm water and spray it and then just mop. So yeah, it works really well. Picks up all the dirt, leaves it all sparkly and nice afterwards. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground is that really another outfit change? No guys, I just kind of mixed around the footage so it flowed nicer for you, but yeah, not a lot going on in here. This is the guest room. I was just quickly tidying it up, just making it a little bit tidier. You'll see the bed actually had a bit of mud on there from Lola, so yeah, it does need changing. And then this is the master room. So much stuff on the sides again, so just quickly making the bed. This one, I think the duvet cover is too big for the actual duvet, so look, it never quite looks right. <laughs> but yeah, just quickly making the bed. The cushions are all from Matalan. The bed is Arista Living and the duvet is all bamboo limited it's the most softest amazing duvet it's so so soft and perfect for anyone with sensitive skin but that is everything everyone i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you really soon next time we'll have a lovely autumn clean with me and i cannot wait